there are literally millions and billions of straws and coffee cups and plastic baggies and uh, single-use items going into landfills every single day. You Can Serve designs, manufactures, reusable waste-free food storage products for everything from food on the go in your car to reusing to pack a school lunch to taking a lunch or a meal to work. I like to look at it not that we're selling thousands or tens of thousands of containers every year, but how many thousands of pounds of trash we're saving from going into the landfills. They were definitely adventurous parents. I always like to say that that started my love and my passion for travel. We traveled together, we studied together, we enjoyed that incredible opportunity together and Chance and I just became very, very close. When I had my son, I was fiercely optimistic that I was going to continue to work. I was at the height of my career. I was doing really, really quite well. Second I took a look in Joey's eyes, I laughed and said, I am so not going back to work. And then Rose came along very, very shortly thereafter. We talked about, you know, wouldn't it be fun and interesting to start a business together? And fast forward, our children started going to school and we thought, wow, you know, there's just a lot of trash when you pack their lunch every day. And just speaking from my children's elementary school, 800 students, at least two water bottles in the trash can every single solitary day, plastic baggies, yogurt containers, little cracker bags. There are no recycling programs, so we were thinking to ourselves, where is this all going and what is, why is nobody doing anything about this? We knew we wanted to be only working with very reputable and sustainable manufacturers. We were hoping to use as much recyclable material as possible. For example, our insulated bags and the sweat-free ice packs, all of that fabric is actually made from recycled plastic water bottles. Kids Conserve is the name of the business that we logoed, we trademarked. After that, we thought it's a free-for-all. We can say what we want on our tags and our catalogs. And there was one particular phrase that we thought was very catchy that we put on every single solitary product. And we didn't know that somebody else owned the trademark. This was an LA firm and they tried to flex their muscles with us. Even though I said, we will immediately cease use of this phrase. We're so sorry, we had no idea. Well, they wanted money and they were potentially threatening to go against us personally for our equity in our homes. And I said, you know what? This is a very good lesson that just because I'm creating a fun, cute little product, I need to keep my business acumen going. I hired my own attorney and actually did a little research into their background and their business. And when they learned what I learned, they never bothered me again. We've been very passionate about keeping the ownership as a 50-50 owned company. We're getting a couple of orders yeah, a week. I mean, it's been really, really good. They have, they really the like one particular. Yeah. You can only grow as a small, leanly run, self-funded business for so long. In our busy season, we go out of stock in our top selling items. And it's very frustrating for us because it's basically money out the window because we don't have the product to sell. We can't sell product unless we purchase it. The good and the bad of being a successful business is you get mired down into the minutiae and the details of running it. Hi, what are you doing? Hi. 
doing here? I wanted to bring you some Oh, flowers. sweetie, but never not this. But the fact that my kids were a part of the process and they saw me work really hard at something and never give up and create something that is doing something good for the earth. You know, it could sound a little corny at times, but it's the absolute truth and it, that is really, really exciting.